Hello. Sorry. Just, uh... I know that vacant look. Yeah, it's called a thousand yard stare. It's like, uh... It's like looking back through time at all that you've seen. Good and bad, you know? Been there. What do you see? I see the... the wallpaper on the ceiling of my old bedroom on Randall Street. I'd lie there and listen to my mom and dad screaming at each other. Almost all night. But my sister, <laughs> she always slept right through it. What were they arguing about? Nothing, really. Actually, one morning I woke up <laughs> and there was a hole in the plaster this big. And I asked my mom what happened. And she said, oh, your dad, he was angry and he hit the wall. It was, it was nothing. How can putting your fist through a freaking wall be nothing? And it was like that when I shot him. Like his fist in the wall. It's nothing. Mm. Like it didn't mean anything? No, like... Like I didn't feel it. You know, I was just numb. And after a while, you know, I, I wondered why. When you shoot your father, you should feel something, right? Well, maybe you did. Maybe you were just afraid you couldn't handle it, so you bottled it up, you know? Maybe you're right. Um, <laughs> about the other night, <laughs> I was really stupid and I was mean, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe we could do this again sometime, huh? Yeah. Let's kick the search radius out again. Keep on it. Bailey, can we go off the clock? Because I want to show you what I came up with on Colleen Brenneman's money. Okay, 30 minutes. What do you got, Joy? Well, I followed Sam's hunch, and Greg Hay did clean up Drew's mess. Losing 28 million makes a big mess. About six months ago, he put the money into five offshore fronts, and now it's disappeared. So Colleen's murder wasn't a crime of passion. It was greed. I'm kidding. 28 million is a boatload of motive. Any proof she'd found out? Subpoenas, warrants, inquiries? Nothing. I don't think Colleen knew. Monica Sykes told me that Drew and Colleen were reconciling. You said Drew was trying to make you think he was guilty, covering for someone. That someone had to be Greg. Well, Drew was guilty, just not of murder. He didn't have the kind. He just stole her money. Greg killed her. Was Greg trying to frame me by making it look like Drew blew a fuse? Why? Well, maybe it went something like this. Greg found out that Drew and Colleen were getting back together. He was afraid that he would be cut out. The way these accounts were set up, they could have done it. Greg would have gone from 28 million to zero. So he frames Drew and plays on his weaknesses. He convinces Drew that he'll never be charged. And then Drew got cold feet and Roy Carlson, like, saw something or knew something. And Greg's house of cards came tumbling down. He had to keep killing just to prop it up. Well, if that's not exactly what happened, it's damn close. I think it's time we brought the Wake Forest police up to speed. Hey, we still need the smoking gun. We need to find the money. I'm on it. You know, I'll call Detective Ramdak. Suggest he get a search warrant for Greg Hayes' computer and bank records. Looks like one of Greg's files. Randag must have confiscated them. Greg 
killed them and took them back? He's here. Greg, where were you when this happened? Um, well, when was that? Around 5.30 this evening. Um, I was at the courthouse filing some papers. Really? You can ask the people who saw me there. You think I could have done something like this? You're my friends. What has this job done to you that you could even think that? for the same exact thing since I was eight. Now, what could an eight-year-old possibly want that she still wants ten years later? Well, if I told you, then it wouldn't come true. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want to know what I wish for? Mm -hmm. I wish that we would always tell the truth to each other. You wish for that when you were eight? Yep. That's when you took that long trip. Your mom said it was FBI work, but I saw your new address on an old phone bill. It was a rough time. And I didn't know how to tell you. I know. I just wish you would have tried. I had to live that lie, too. Even invent some of my own. One thing I wanted you and your sister to get from me was respect for the truth. That you word is everything. I thought I was protecting you, but I was wrong. I'm sorry, Brandy. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Because now you are honest with me. If I screw up, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that works both ways. As long as we're honest with each other, we'll be okay. Happy birthday. Grab a spoon and save me. Mm. Or else I won't stop eating until I eat the whole thing. And that is not a pretty picture. I ran those additional tests you wanted on Roy Carlson. He was terminal. How advanced was he? Well, he was in the early stages. He probably just found out. I found it in his spinal fluid. A myotropic lateral sclerosis. How long did he have? Too long. It's a slow, progressive neuromuscular disease. I could understand why he was living life to the hilt. Regardless, it never would have shown up in a routine autopsy, no matter how sophisticated. Thanks, Grace. 